so I'm doing a uh, video documentary here on the damages that are in this apartment for the last seven years that nobody has none of the the landlord hasn't and none of the property managers that take over has come to do anything about it I have to stuff towels behind my toilet here okay and the reason for that is is because Right here is a hole. Okay, it goes straight to the outside. Okay, I had to patch this hole up and put tape. Okay, so we have to put, I have three towels here and I have to put the three towels in this place to stop the cold air from coming in on my ass while I'm trying to shit. Okay, I put tape all the way up this thing here because behind here is just a um, behind here is just a big hole. I put a I put a piece of wood in the wall, okay, and put tape over it because there's that gap. There's the hole. Goes all the way down. Cold air comes in here. So I have to tape that up. We got a cloth there because what's coming from 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 inside here is airflow that's coming from a hole that's in the wall behind behind this thing. Okay, so I have a hole that was there, and I have uh, a hole that's down there. We covered it over with cardboard and put tape on it. Oh. Sorry, I have high blood pressure and I get dizzy. Um, so this tub has tape all around the edges because uh, the paneling was loose. We, we put nails in it and stuff. Uh, put tape around the edges and stuff because everything was loose just like this board was. Okay, and nobody came for seven years to fix it. <clears throat> uh, behind this laundry, can't move all the laundry, but behind the laundry on the floor is a hole in the wall, and we got it blocked off with uh, 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 this wall molding. The wall molding around here, so we got it blocked off with the wall molding. Um, Okay, so this is a closet, okay, no doors or nothing. Uh, behind this closet, there's two holes in a the wall. There's one in this side of the wall and one in this side of the wall. Okay, so we have to put a towel up over this window because we have cracks along the window that just let in cold air. I have a fan next to my heater because this is the only heater in the whole entire house. We have a two-bedroom apartment and we can't use the bedrooms because the heaters, there's no heaters. This is the only one heater and it's breaking up in here. We had to tape it up and stuff. They don't come to do anything about this. They said they were gonna uh, take this out and repair this and, and put in heating systems and stuff and never did. So we have no, there's no vents in the walls or on the walls, on the ceiling or anything that will allow heat in. There's nothing on the baseboards. There's no baseboard heating. Okay. Uh, our stuff is stacked up this way because... Uh, let me open the door. And show you. You can't get nothing up the stairways and into this house because it's a narrow passageway. 
Okay? So we don't do that. So we have no furniture in our house and everything's just stacked up in places like stacked up here, stacked up, stacked up there, stacked up over there, and stacked up there because we have no place to put nothing. Can't get any furniture into this into this apartment at all. This room is my daughter's room. There is no there's no heat in here whatsoever. So she uses this as storage for all her stuff. Instead of using it as a bedroom. <clears throat> Same thing as in here. We use this one room in here, the living room, as a bedroom because we have no heat in the house. We can't do anything. This wall has holes in it. Okay, and they never came to repair any of this. This over here has a hole in the wall, big hole. We put a piece of a uh, piece of cardboard over there and painted it. Okay, they haven't come to do anything like that. This wall here, for three years, had I had a uh, 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 right up in here, all the way to the ceiling. I had milk crates. Stacked up to hold the ceiling up for three years. And Larry Greber came by and he saw it and did nothing about it. Uh, Rebecca Groff from a uh, property management company sent her guy down here and he looked at it. And f they forced uh, Larry Greber to have somebody fix this. Because we had, uh, at this wall right here, behind this wall, is no wall. On the outside, you can see everything hanging off. And you could actually put your hand through the wall and wave at the birds. So they put this sheetrock up here, uh, what, a year and a half ago, and did not... Did not paint the apartment, did not replace uh, this windowsill or anything. It's all damaged and stuff. Um, okay, so we have that. We have no heat in the house whatsoever, other than this right here. Okay, this is the coldest room, one of the coldest rooms. This is the kitchen. In order to heat this kitchen up, I have to turn the stove on and open that door. Now, this back door that we have. This back door, you can't get any furniture or anything in because the door only opens, it only opens so much. Um, doesn't open fully all the way this door hits the this door hits the outside wall when you open it up so it doesn't give you much room to get anything in okay so this door as you can see it okay this is all loose and we can't even really lock the door Okay, so we got that jury rigged so that see the handles loose and you can see everything and okay and so we don't use this door for much because we try to keep it locked as much as possible because um, it's hard it's hard to close you got to lift up on it and it's not a, it's not a uh, it's not a wooden door okay this is this is a metal door. Okay, we got a metal door on a wooden house, I guess. I don't know. Uh, okay. So, we have this area right here. This area right here is all decayed and rotted. I had to put this, this, uh, this over, this piece of cardboard over the wall. Okay, that piece of cardboard over the wall. And I had to put this block right here 
in the corner because this was all a big hole. When we, when we got here, this was a big hole. It stayed a big hole for about a year. I got tired of looking at it. I got tired of the mice coming up. So I put that there. I put that there. I put that there. I put all this guck on there just to fill it in. Now, the floor down here is all rotted. All the way across, it's rotted. All the way back behind behind this sink right here is all rotted okay all this is all rotted in all right nobody takes care of that nobody come to take care of that uh, they said they was and never did uh, I have cracks in my walls okay because the house is sinking So we have this curtain over the pantry because airflow comes in from the pantry because there's some holes in the floors. It has never been repaired. We have plastic on our windows to keep out the cold air. This is the coldest room. Now this room is the storage room because it's, I got no heat in here. Got no vents up on the top. Nothing. Okay? There's no heating. I can't move all this stuff. But there's nothing against the walls. No baseboards. No baseboard heating. Okay? I got my freezer in here. This is the only light we have because this light's been broken for four years. Nobody's come to fix it. This light's broken, nobody's come to fix it. You can see I put duct tape all up on it to hold it up. This light's nobody's come to fix it in four years. It's still sitting the same way. My daughter's light hasn't been fixed in four years. So there's no light in this room. So just to show you that the house is sinking. All right. See that doorway? See how it's, uh, it's bending down? Crack in the wall right there. Rich, where are you? So, we've been here for seven years. We've paid our rent every month for seven years on time. All our bills, electric, cable, whatever, cell phones, we've paid everything on time every month for seven years. Never had a problem. Uh, property Pro, Larry Grubber hired Property Pro. Now that Property Pro is the manager of the building, they want us to pay more money and nobody wants to come and fix our problems. Okay, so we pay $675 off of our original lease. Let me show you our original lease. Here's our original lease. Our original lease. Alright, thank you for your time. Your uh, half bath double vanilla latte is getting gold over here, Francis. Buy me. So, what do you think? 675 a month, 255 4th Street, David Maynard. Uh, 8 14, 2015, we've been here since. So, I'm telling you, I don't think Dad wants to be found. Okay, so Property Pro. Property Pro, uh, they want our money, but they don't want to come fix nothing. Like every other property manager that we had, they 
chum. Every every time we get a property manager, they come and they give us a uh, uh, updated lease. And on the lease, it's always more money, more money, more money. So we don't have a problem paying more money. Six seventy five is cheap, and we don't we don't say anything about it because we don't say anything about it. And and all the problems because six seventy five is cheap. But now that you want more money, and I and I'm a dis I'm on disability. My wife and I are senior citizens on disability. We really can't afford much. But I don't have a problem paying what they want as long as they come to do the work. But you're not going to tell me, yeah, all right, give us the money, we'll come do the work and never show up. So Property Pro will get six seventy-five. If that's not good enough for them, then they won't get shit. I don't want to have to sit on Larry Grubber for six months and take his money and have to move out somewhere. I want to settle this. Property Pro wants us to have money to them for rent before the first of every month. Now, my wife doesn't get her disability to the third of the month. And I don't get my disability to the tenth of the month. So we usually pay my wife's, from my wife's disability, we usually pay the rent. And electric and, and, and everything else, the food and all that comes from mine. But Property Pro is telling us that if we don't pay the rent by the first, then we get charged 50 bucks. Drifter passing through. Bridge was a few gaps. You know, and I'm not paying all that shit. So until we can come to an agreement on a lease, we're going to go by the original lease of 675. Because they want 725 for three months and have me sign a lease for three months. Then after three months, they want to put a 3% on it, which brings the total to $750 for rent. Okay, I don't have a problem paying $750 for rent. What I have a problem is, is paying $750 for rent every month, and nobody's here to do jack shit. Okay, I'm show you something else. I had to put duct tape. I put glue. The contact cement down on here. And then put duct tape down because they wouldn't come and replace this. Replace the whole sink. Okay? This is stupid loose. Look at that. Okay, they don't come to fix that. Okay, this whole thing right here I had to, like I said, contact cement and then tape. I shouldn't have to tape it. That's, that's ghetto, but I have to do that. So that's my problem. That's my dilemma. Okay, I'm making this recording for court in case I have to go to court. Okay? And for Property Pro. And for Larry Grubber. Larry Grubber is a slumlord. And he's had us living in these conditions for seven years has not once come to change it. We had a property manager who is now the code, inform code enforcement officer. He was once our property manager. Um, he came in and he saw the condition of our bathroom and that our toilet was nearly into the subfloor. So he, the whole entire bathroom floor was rotted. So they pulled up the bathroom floor. They put down he well he pulled up the bathroom floor. He put down a new uh, a new floor, or had the had one of his guys put down a new floor, and I did the tile and the linoleum and the or whatever the uh, stuff around the baseboards. Okay. Um, 
and that other property manager, Rebecca Groff, uh, who wouldn't take the being the property manager here because of the conditions of this apartment. Um, not the conditions of the downstairs. They redid the whole entire downstairs, but did nothing up here. So that ends this video.